Hey, welcome. What's up, guys? Monica. Hi. Everybody's late today. How are you? How was your day? <laughs> um, good. What about good. you? <laughs> Busy. Busy. Busy, nah, as um, always. No, nah, um, I, I wish I was kidding. I wish I was kidding, Monica, but I'm really, really busy most of the times. Like too, like too busy. I about, uh, but I'm gonna take some time off because I'm really tired. You know, like I'm exhausted. Um, I'll take some time off. Um, also from my university. So, mm -hmm. I I don't know. I think I'll Are you go to. I'm um, on what? Are you studying at the university? Am I still studying? You mean, are you still studying at the university? I just still. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I, this is another career. This is business administration. Um, ah, okay. At AC, yes, but. That's so good. And in, in two work, two jobs. I have That's two, really hard, I, I think. Have, I have like three jobs, actually. Three. It's like three. <laughs> yes. How old are you? I'm uh, 31. Ah, 31. Yes. But young. <laughs> I want pass. You're, you're, why do you say that you're young too? <laughs> How old are you? 29, 28. Okay. Yeah, I thought uh, that you were younger though. But yeah. Yeah, I'm younger. Yeah. No, that, that's fine. Neil, uh, I was thinking about uh, going to Argentina because that's where my, I, I have a, a sister living there. Or maybe <laughs> Colombia, you know, in January. So that that's because the, that's the only time my university allows me like, I, well, I'm actually taking like online classes, right? So uh, I can earn money or, not, or, or more experience. No, to Argentina or what do you mean? No, that, why, that's why do you have classes? Oh, no, it's just, uh, I don't know. It's just money. I like it. You know, I like what I do for, for traveling. I think no, because I want to no. travel. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Um, no, I mean, I, I, I want to travel just because, I, first of all, I love traveling. And secondly, because I need some time off, you know, because I haven't had okay. any vacation for a long time, you know. So I need to relax and, and just yeah. get out of the that country, you know. <laughs> yes. Maybe Brazil, important. you know, maybe Brazil, but Brazil yeah. is a little Yeah. <laughs> Send pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do have pictures from Brazil. I live there. Um, I used oh, to live there. Really? Yes. <laughs> That's so good. What about the, what was the, how was the food? Oh, uh, extremely delicious. <laughs> but we're going to, yes, uh, but give me one moment. David, Malin, how are you? <laughs> Hi, Hi, everyone. Welcome, right? And good, good afternoon, guys. <laughs> are you still working, David? Oh, yeah, you're still working. What about you, David? Do you work from home? Yes, but currently uh, I'm not working. Oh, you're not? Uh-huh. Okay. I'm not working. Mm -hmm. All right. David, in my case, I, I work in home office. Home, in so, my... So you're yes, working I, from home? Yes, I work in three days or four days in my house in one day in the office. Oh, okay. That, that's actually, you know, that's, that's actually a good balance because uh, you don't get bored of either, right? Like sometimes you're like, you know what, I, I'd like to go back to my workplace. And sometimes, you know, that, that's like if you worked for too long from home, right? But in, and the same thing happens, you know, when you go every day to your workplace and then you have to come back home, right? That you get bored of having to go to, you know, go to work and, and uh, you know, coming back home. So, so that's that's a good balance, I think. All right, guys, I have no idea what happened to the rest, guys, but we have to move on, okay? All right, uh, so I think everybody finished the platform. And also, guys, I think everybody thought that this was the last week. This is not the last week, guys. The last week is actually the, the next one, okay? <laughs> so you still have to come, all right? The, I, next, the next week, <coughs> we will have classes. Yes, yes. See, nobody knows that you're like the second person who asks me that. Yes, guys. Um, yes, it seems like it's been forever. We started on the 10th, didn't we? Right? 
did we not start in the 10th, guys? Can you start no. in this, right? No? No. Wait, when? I don't we... know. I think the two. I don't know. The second. Yeah, the second. <laughs> I think because I start this um, before. No, wait, 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 guys. No. Hold no. On. It can't be. I, um, Oh my God, don't, don't, don't scare me. This course is today. And Tomorrow. the next course, I think it's in the next year. No, yeah, okay, yeah. You, you scared me for a little bit, okay, for, 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 for a moment. No, um, yes, guys, okay. All right, so guys, we have to move on, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's go. <clears throat> I know that you finished the platform, guys, but... Um, we do have to move on, okay? All right, guys, so I need you guys to listen to this conversation because we're going to talk about, uh, you know, time references in the past, okay? So how do we talk about, how do we talk about the past? Okay, how do we reference the past in a conversation, okay? So that's what we are going to take a look at right now, guys, okay? All right, so... All right, so we're gonna um, we're gonna go, guys, over the references in the past, okay? And we're gonna have some practice, okay? Um, the objective for today, guys, okay? You're gonna listen to conversation about history, about, about world history, which is actually in the platform, and you're gonna um, and you're gonna give me your opinions about this, okay? And some other questions, right? So this is the conversation, guys. Let me know, guys, okay? Because I don't know if it's if you'll be able to hear. We want you to answer the following. All right, can you hear? Questions. Number one. Yes. Do you know yes. World existence? How long were okay. the Beatles together for? If you... All right, do me a favor, guys. I need you to either take a screenshot, guys, or just jot them down in your notebook, okay? Write them down if you're in your notebook. Do you know what the meaning of jot them down is, guys? Like this? Jot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like to write something that like super quick, you know? That is the meaning of, meaning of jot it down. Okay. Jot it down like that. Jot it. It's like quickly. Yes, exactly. It's like, like, yeah, like that. Are you still seeing the presentation, guys, or are you seeing my email? The presentation. All right, that's good. That's good. <laughs> All right, let me know, guys, when you have. I took a screenshot. Tell me. I took a screenshot. Okay, very good. All right, super good, guys. Okay, so let's listen to it, guys. Really know the answers. Type them in. I'm good at history. Part A. Listen and practice. Look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. We want you to stay and listen to the rest of the conversation and find out the... All right, very good, guys. So... All right, so let's go back to the first question. Uh, Monica, what would be the first question you got? The first question? Yes. Do you know when war was began? Do you know where, when World War I began? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know where? Okay, so notice, guys, that- Where or when? Where? 
It says, it says when, not nowhere, guys. Okay. When? Yes. Okay. Hold on. Let me put it back in here. All right. So, okay. So when did it begin? According to the audio, when? When. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so what do you notice here, guys? Okay. We're talking, we're, we're talking about past events, right? And what tenses are we talk are we using to talk about past events? I think it's a beginning and the what is what is this tense, guys? When did World War One begin? Simple past. All right, that is simple past, okay? All right, I think it began in 1917. What is that? That is also? That is also simple past, right? Yes. All right. And what is this tense? It's past, past, past participle. All right. Not past participle. Remember, guys, that the past participle is the third form of the verb, right? This is present oh. perfect, okay? okay? All right. So we're using present perfect, okay? Ah, yes. And we're using, guys, how long, okay? All right. I, I want you to pay attention to that, guys, because that's basically uh, on, on today's topic, okay? All right. And um, what about this? Since Kennedy became president in 1961, what is that? Maybe present perfect. All right. So that's simple past. Uh, that's simple past, right? Very good. All right. How long were the Beatles together? What tense is this? This is also simple, simple past. past, right? Very good. So again, guys, here, well, they started in 1965, broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years, blah, blah, right? So again, guys, all right, this is using simple past, all right, to talk about past events, and it's also using present perfect, okay? So we're using two tenses here, guys, okay, to reference, to make reference uh, to talk in the past, okay? So the first one is simple past, and the other one is present perfect, okay? So what do you think the difference is between these two? The timeline. The timeline? Mm -hmm. All right. Very good, guys. So I'll tell you what this is about, okay? Guys, there is a difference between simple past and present perfect, okay? Simple past, guys, is used to... Let's, let's, let's compare them, guys, okay? So simple past, guys, is used for... If I say, guys, try to define it yourself, guys, okay? So if I say, for example... All right, I'm going to say... Hold on. I'm going to say. All right. If I say, uh, give me a sentence, right? Monica, give me a sentence in the past. I worked at a restaurant. I worked. Okay, at I worked restaurant. at a restaurant. Okay. Now, guys. If we draw a timeline, okay, if we draw a timeline here, okay, this is going to be a timeline, okay, all right, when, this is the present, okay, present, and this is the future, and this is the past, okay, now, let me ask you this, okay, if Monica said, I worked at a restaurant, the action, we know that it happened in the past, right, but when did it stop? When did it stop, guys? Rafael Mayen, thank you for joining us. Um, oh, good evening, teacher. Thank you. All right. My, okay. Thank you. All right. My question is, guys, when did, did the action stop? Cuando fue que paró la acción? In the past. All right. So, okay. So, the action, guys, okay, it started here, right? Like your relationship, right? And it ended here, guys, right? Okay. All right, como tu relación previa empezó ahí y terminó ahí, right? So, or like mine, right? 
<laughs> with Dua, Li Dua Lupe. But Dua Lupe, no. There is no Dua Lupe anymore, so. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so that's that's where it ended, guys, okay? All right, that's where it ended, okay? Now, when we talk about present perfect, guys, all right, try to give me a sentence in present perfect. I have been working. Okay, if I say I have been working all right this is called maybe remember, guys, every time they use ing guys okay that's going to be a progressive right so i have worked okay i have worked and you can say at a restaurant okay all right so what's the difference guys when do you work let's draw the timeline again okay so we have the timeline here right we have the timeline right Future, present, past, right? Future, present, past. Okay. So if I say, guys, I have worked at a restaurant, when did you work? Was it in the past or in the present or in the future? In the past. Okay. Maybe, but it's not finished. I have worked at a restaurant. Okay. Actually, it, it's over. Okay. So it started here, guys. Okay. And it started, you know, sometime in the past too. Okay. But guys, this is talking about, the, you use this, guys. First of all, the main usage of present perfect, guys, is to talk about, about what? Experience. Experience, right? Okay, so if you're going to talk about experiences, you are going to use present perfect, okay? That is the main usage, guys, okay? So guys, real quick, okay. Uh, David, tell me, tell me one of your experiences. All right, tell me, tell, talk to me about one of your experiences in life. Okay. Uh, I have, I have worked as a software developer. Oh, you've worked as a software developer. Very good, uh -huh. okay. All right, now guys, you can ask everybody. Let's ask this question, okay. For how long, okay? For how, right, hold on. Let me put it like this, okay? Okay, so, uh, so for how long, okay? This is the other reason why you would use present perfect, guys, okay? For how long, okay? For how long? Por cuánto tiempo? For how long, okay? And your answer could be, I've worked there, mm -hmm. right? Now, if I answer like this, guys, it means that I, I am still working, okay? Okay? So, guys, this is the, the difference number two, okay? If I ask this question, guys, if I ask this question right like here, right? If, let, me, let me put it like this, okay? If I say, for how long, guys, over here versus how long over here in simple past, okay? Hold on, let me, let me do it like this, okay? So, so if I say, guys, for how long here, you will need to answer me like this, right? I've worked there for five years, right? Now, guys, am I still working there? Yes or no? Yes. I think yes. Yes, nope. okay. Nope. Yes, guys. With present perfect, if you say like that, guys, I have worked there for five years, okay? That means that you are still working there, okay? You, right? It means that you are still a slave. No, I'm kidding, right? You're still working there, okay? All right, this is the meaning of this, okay? So now if I say, guys, hey, for how long, okay? And I answer something like this, I... Okay, if I say I worked there for five years, now what happened? So what's the difference between them two? The action finished. Exactly, guys, okay? Okay, so the difference, guys, the difference is that in the first example, you do not, I mean, you, I mean uh, in the second example, you do not, uh, you still work for them. Okay, you're still working there. In the second example, okay, the answer is, guys, that 
you do not work there anymore, okay? Got it? So, right? Simple past, okay? Always finishes uh, the actions in the past, okay? Present perfect, they are used to talk, it's used to talk about experience and also for an action that started in the past and might continue in the present. Got it? Got All it. Good? All right, very good. So let me keep asking, okay? All right, Maylin, tell me one of your experiences in your life, something that you'd like to share. I think right now. All right, Rafael. All right, let's uh, let's let's try. Okay. Uh, well, I, I actually I have worked uh, at a restaurant in in Wendy's actually about uh, along um, maybe fifteen years ago. <laughs> fifteen years ago. Well, oh, really? No, no, no more, uh, teacher. Like. Uh, like 20 years ago. Okay, like 20 years ago. Okay, very good. So I have worked at a restaurant, right? I have worked at a restaurant. Very good, okay, good job. Uh, Alberto, what about you? Share one of your experiences. Uh, I have worked as teacher for four years. Okay, you worked as a teacher for four years. Okay, very good. All right, David. So, um, I work for the Ternova for ten years, and it's correct. Say I am still working. Then you would say I have worked. I have uh -huh. worked at Wendy's for ten years, right? So that means that you started working in the past and you continue to work in the present, okay? In the same place. Yes, okay. So now guys, okay, now there is another factor here, okay? There is another factor here that I needed to take into consideration to talk about this, okay? All right, the time guys, okay? So we know what we use simple past, you know, you, we know what, uh, you know, why, how we use simple past guys, and what's the difference between simple past and present perfect, right? But there is another another element that we need to discuss, and it's this, okay? All right. For, all right, for, um, if I ask you this, guys, how long, right? You can answer for, or you can answer since, or you can answer during, okay? And we have a couple of questions, right? So the answer, to uh, what was uh, Monica? You mentioned the question number one, right? So, what was the question number one? Uh, the question number one. Yes. Do you know when will? No. Do you know when World War One was began? Okay, World War One. Okay, begin. Okay, begin. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know where when World War One began? Everybody repeat, okay? Because this is a difficult word for you to pronounce, guys. Do you know when World War One began? You know when, you know when World, World War One began. Wow, began. <laughs> wow, 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 San Miguel, no. Tayang. <laughs> repeat again. <laughs> by the way, guys, okay, by the way, I for, the, for those of you who don't know, guys, okay, Yes, uh, the thirtieth, guys. Today is the last, the last day, so you don't have another class tomorrow. Okay, I was, uh, I was uh, <laughs> talking about not finishing today, guys. But yeah, I remember that um, that it's on the thirtieth, right? Anyway, so uh, guys, okay, that's not the right pronunciation, right? But we need to continue, all right? So here, guys, okay, you can answer. There are a couple of ways in which you can answer here. Okay, remember that you can use simple past. You can use uh, present perfect, right? But if you use for, guys, for example, for, you have to talk about the amount of years, okay? Write it down. If you use since, okay, you have to talk about, what do you think? Years. The beginning 
okay, of the action, okay? If you use during, you have to talk about the duration of the action, okay? All right, so for example, guys, okay, so do you know when World War I began, okay? Uh, which one do you think would be more appropriate to answer this? For, since, or during? Or there's another one. Okay, I'm sorry, I forgot. There is another one. There is yet another one here. You can also use, guys, in, okay? Which refers to a specific year, month, Okay, a specific year or month, okay? Actually, more than that, guys. Year, uh, decade. Um, you can um, you can say uh, year, decade, you know, century, all right, et cetera. All right, but not day, guys, okay? Okay. So, and you can also use on. Okay, and this refers to a specific day, all right? So, do you know when World War I began? Okay, now, which one do you consider, guys, to be the best option to answer this? In. In, very good, okay? If you don't know, guys, the specific date, you, you will always use in, right? So, what, what is the right answer? Who knows, guys? Who knows this? When did it begin? 1917, I think. Okay, right. So we can answer, guys. How do you answer? How do you give me a complete answer? The World War, World War I began. began it in... began. You don't need to say World War I began because we already know that we're talking about that, right? It began, huh? In? In. In 1917. 1940. 1940. All right. That is incorrect, but good job. All right. Good example. Okay. Applause, guys. <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Uh, actually, that was that was closer to the Second World War. Uh, I mean, the, the World War World War Two, right? Because that began in 19. No, no, it actually ended in 1945. So you're very close, but but that's not that's the Second World War. Okay. Anyways, whatever. All right. So. Uh, Let's continue. All right. So, all right. Why are we using in, guys? Why are we using the preposition in? Refers to a specific year. Very good. All right. It refers to a specific year. Okay. So, very good job. Now, what about this, guys? What if I ask you guys, for how long? Repeat, guys. For how long? For how long? For how long? How long? World War One. War, 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 war. <laughs> last. Actually, last. Okay. All right. So, for how long World War One lasted? Repeat, guys. For how long World War One lasted? For how long World War One lasted? Last. <laughs> All right. So, or you can say, guys, how long you know World War One lasted for? Okay. You could also say it like that which is more informal, but it is correct, okay? So now, guys, all right, uh, I'm sorry. In this case, let's put it like this, guys, sorry. Okay, how long World War One lasted, okay? This looks better. All right, so now, how long World War One lasted, guys? All right, now, what will be the best answer here? What do you think? Four A in specific years, for example, four A. Four years, four? maybe. Okay, you can use since. Can we use during? Yeah. All right, let's uh, all right, give me an example, guys, with uh, four. Let's use four. It's, it's example. For it, it lasted. Years. Okay, it lasted for 10 years. Can you say that, guys? It lasted for 10 years. All right. Or, all right, what do you think, guys? Oh, maybe 
during 10 years. All right, let's report out law, dude. Let's let's put it like the not an informal way, guys. Okay, World War One, last four. Okay. All right. So okay. So all right. So you can say, guys, it lasted ten years. Okay, but can we say, guys, four? With this question, guys, can we say, you know, can we say four? Yes. How will you say that? It lasted for 10 years. No. 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 No, 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 no. All right. Let's change the question and you'll see. Okay, guys, the only way to answer this question, guys, because remember, guys, you're going to count the amount of years. If I say how long did World War One last for, you're going to say something like this. Okay. It lasted 10 years, right? You already mentioned it, guys, 10 years. You don't need to use the preposition for, okay? But what if I say this, guys? What if I say, how many years did, no, how can we, how can we formulate this, okay? Um, let's say, let's say how, Let's change the question, right? How old were you when you had, when you had what, guys? Let's say, how long have you been working in your company? Or how long have you worked? and your company for. All right, so how long have you worked in your company for? Okay, now this is a question in present perfect, right? So now here guys, can I can I use for or and since and during? Do you think that I could use that? During? Could I use for? For? Yes or no? I think yes. Yes guys, okay? Yeah. How long, right? How long have you worked in your company for? For example, um, Monica, right? So how long have you worked in your company for? I think that's like Constanza, right? Um, I have uh -huh. been work. No, I um, have worked. I have worked. Or I've, I've worked, uh huh? For two years. For, okay, I've worked there for there. two mm -hmm. years, right? Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Okay, so we're using four here, right? Because now, what is this, guys? What is that two years? Amount of years. That is the, all right, that is the amount of years. Very good, okay? Now, can I give a different answer here? David, can I say, can I use since? Uh, no, not because you, you, you are not specifying the, 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 the moment when they start the, the action. It may not. Okay, if I say, guys, okay, listen, guys, if I say I have worked there for two years, right? Am I not specifying a time? Two years. All right, very good, two years. So how long, guys? Okay, how many, what, what year was? All right, pay attention to this, guys. What year was two years ago? In what year were we? Very good, guys. Uh -huh. So I can say, right, I've worked there since 2019. Got it? All right. So that's the difference, guys. Okay. So, so what is this, guys? What is do? What what is sense doing here? You're talking about the beginning of the action, right? So you can say, I've worked there for two years, and you can also say, I've worked there since 2019. Got it? So far, so good. Got it. All right, very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right. Now, how do we use during? Can I? Can I? If I ask you guys, if I ask you, hey, how long have you worked in your company for? All right. Could I use during? Yes or no. During. Yes. Two years. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, remember, 
How long have, if I ask you guys, answer this question first, okay? If I ask you this question, are you still working in your company, yes or no? Yeah. Yes, yes right? Yes. So, if I say during, do I am I am I going to talk about an action that I'm still doing or am I going to talk about an action that already finished? I think finished. I think finished. Exactly, right? So, can I use present perfect, okay? So, you know the question refers to something that we're still doing because it's present perfect, right? So, I cannot answer this question, right? Like with during. But if I wanted to answer this question, what would I need to do? Well, how would the question be, guys? Do my favorite, guys, okay? I want everybody, guys, to send me the question that I need to answer with during. All right? You can, you can use, you know, worked in your company for, right? But I need the right question, guys. In what tense? What tense do we, do we use, guys, for finished actions? Simple past. Action. Simple past, okay? That's the answer. All right? Send me your questions in the chat, guys. Todo el mundo envíeme sus, um, sus preguntas in the chat. <laughs> How many? Mm, okay, so David, uh, I that that question, okay, that is a very common mistake from Spanish speakers because we translate, okay? How many times refers to cuanta veces? Is that how you're, what you're asking? Cuanta veces? How many times? Right. Uh, no. Okay, so, okay, I think that you want to you say like, I don't know, what, what do you want to say? Like, hace cuanto tiempo, right? Is that, mm -hmm. is that what you want to say? That, guys, that hace cuanto tiempo, that's how long? Okay, oh, that's okay. what you see. Okay, all right. How long? Okay. Okay, so let's reformulate that question, Monica. When did you work there? Very good. All right. When did you work there? All right. That is a perfect question, Monica. Okay. All right. So Monica found the answer, guys. Maylin, what 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 question do you have? How many years were your previous work? How many years did you work there? Okay, you could say you could uh, you could say you know how many years did you work there? Okay, all right, but no, guys. Okay, the perfect question, guys, is uh, Monica's question, right? When did you work there, right? Because, guys, I could say, guys, I worked there. You can use in or you can use during. So during, guys, would be used like this. Okay, let me erase this. Okay, and let's answer again. Okay, so you can say. I worked, okay, I worked there during the, 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 the 90s, okay? I worked there during the 90s, all right? Repeat, guys. I worked there during the 90s. I worked there, I worked during, there the during, the during the 90s. All right, very good. So am, I'm giving you guys a durational time, but in the past, right? I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying from this day to this day because you don't know, right? Durante, right? Trabajé durante los 90, right? Okay, so real quick, guys, give me one example, each of you, okay? Let's start with Francisco. Francisco, so how long have you worked in, uh, I'm sorry, uh, not that, when did you work there? When did you work in your, let's talk about your previous job, okay? All right, if you don't, if you have never had a previous job, guys, doesn't matter, okay? Doesn't matter, just pretend that you had one, okay? So Francisco, all right, when did you work in your previous job? I worked there uh, for six months. Okay, but no, listen. When? When did you work there? Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I worked there during the 2021. Mm, no, during 2021, right? You can say that, but you would say in 2021, right? You can say something like during the pandemic, guys, okay? All right, during the pandemic, for example. Very good, thank you. Alberto, give me another example. I worked there during the 20s. Very good, okay, right. I worked there during the 20s. All right, very good. Maylin, I give you another example. 
I work there during the thirties. I were there during the thirties. <laughs> yes. Guys, I, it's funny because, you know, I am 31. So now when you say the twenties, we are in the twenties. <laughs> and for me, the twenties was 1920, not, not 2020, you know? Ah, oh, sorry. So if you say I worked there in the thirties, right? You re you're making reference to 1930, right? Oh, oh my God. We're getting to another century. Close to another century. Wow. All right. Uh, Rafael. Uh, yes, Monica. I think that you were going to say something. Go ahead. And if, it, if you want, no. If, if we want to say uh, our age. If you want to say your age, what do you mean? Uh, so if I want to say in my 20s, my 20s. Not oh, really. yeah. You can say that. My 20s. Yes. You oh, can, oh okay. that guys, that example is good. You can say I worked there during my 20s it's different uh, if i if i said during the 20s or not yes the, yes the guys. 20s is the los años years okay all right hold on guys. hold on i right. hold your horses okay all right. <laughs> hold your horses guys okay <laughs> if you say guys okay right if you say all right during Let's let's use the example of the twenties, okay? I worked there during the twenties, okay? Let's let's use this, right? So if I say this, guys, all right. If I say I, I, if I work I worked there during the twenties, it means nineteen twenty, or maybe now twenty twenty, right? Is it? All right, hold on, guys. Okay. Now, if you say during the twenties, guys, you're actually you know, making reference to the 1920s because we are in 2021, right? So we're still within the 20s, got it? So this actually means, guys, 1920, got it? All right. If I said I worked there during my 20s, right? By the way, guys, if you were there during the 20s, all right, how old are you guys? Aquí cuantos años tenés? Sí. One hundred and one, right? <laughs> All right, you have a you are one hundred and one years old. Okay, happy birthday! All right, happy century! All right, uh, if I say, guys, I were there doing my twenties. What year is this? Que año system? David, what year is that? Uh huh. Twenties. No, no, it's not the twenties, guys. Okay, this is subjective. Do you know what the word subjective means, guys? So I guess if you guys one, right? No, guys, subjective is you know it's it's like personal, right? It's like from your uh -huh. own point of view. Okay, so all right, so if guys, okay, if I if I told you, you know that I am thirty one, right? I am thirty one. So if I told you I worked there during my twenties. What year is this? Is it 1920? No. No. Oh, okay. 20, 2010. This is 2010. 20, 2010, exactly, guys. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. It's easy to follow my years, guys, because I was born in 1990. All right. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so, 10, you know, equals 20, right? So yes, guys, okay, that means 2020, 2010, okay? All right, do you understand the difference now? Yes. All right, very good. So so let's go back to uh, practicing, okay? All right, Rafael, so how long have you, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, when did you work in your last job? When did you, when did you work there? I worked there during the 2000s. I don't know if it's correct, teacher. Yes, I worked there during the 2000s. Very good. Yes. David, what about you? What is the question? I'm sorry. All right. So when did you work? When did you work there? When did you work at your last, you know, uh, workplace? I work. I, I, I worked. Uh, during seven years. 
I worked there uh -huh. during, no, when you say no, during. four years, four years. No, 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 no. Guys, when you say during, you have to mention, all right, you have to mention uh, the decade, for example, right? Or like your, your, your age. I worked there during the pandemic. I worked there during the 20s. I worked there during the presidency of uh, Bukele. Got it? Maternity. Yes. I, I, I worked there during what? Maternity. Maternity. Okay, during maternity. During my maternity? Yes, you can say that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You can say that, right? Yes, okay. So you're talking about a prolonged period of time, okay? Está hablando de un periodo de tiempo prolongado. Got it? All right. So during, guys, okay, refers to a prolonged period of time, okay? So guys, get together, guys. And I want you to answer these questions, write them down, okay? Okay, when... Hold on. When did you study high school? When, when did you study in high school, okay? So when did you study high, in high school? High school is the bachillerato. Bachir, yes, bachillerato. Mm -hmm. All right. So when did you study in high school? Okay. When did you start learning English? And how long did your last relationship last, okay? All right, so we're going to talk about those three things, guys, okay? Now, I don't want you guys to give sentences, okay? Because in real life, when you talk, guys, you don't give sentences. Mind you, like, like somebody telling you, it, asking you in Spanish, hey, uh, ¿cómo estás? Estoy bien, punto, right? ¿Qué hiciste ayer? Ayer comí, me, lev me levanté. Comí, me cepillé, después, right? You don't talk like that, right? So I don't want sentences, guys, okay? I want you to be fluid, right? Like, hey, you know, when did you study in high school? You know, hey, I studied in high school when I was like 19. That was like, that, that must have been like four years ago, you know? Or I studied high, in high school during, you know, during the pandemic, you know? I think it was a bad situation because of this and this, okay? Give details, guys, okay? All right? So let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. If you didn't copy the answers, guys, the questions, I'll send them to you again. Okay. Hello, Rafael. Hi, Maylene. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. A little, I'm a little late, but I'm okay. Don't worry, okay. Davis. <laughs> it's not uh, here. Teacher, understand. <laughs> David is blind. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> uh, the question, uh, number one is... What? When did you study in high school? You want you want to go first? No, you're first. <laughs> Don't well, worry. I studied, I studied in high school in <clears throat> I think in a a great decade from 1990 to 1992. Actually, in the 90s. <laughs> so yes, this, it's the same. I, I worked. In high in, school. I worked. Uh, I studied the. Uh, during the 80s, for me, it's a great years. Yes. I don't remember the years because it's, I don't remember. <laughs> I think both, it's both, the. Both are, both are great decades. <laughs> yes. Okay. When I started the university in 
2000. I remember. I don't know. Okay. What, so when did you start learning English? And I, I don't remember. I tried to study. I tried to learn English for times and different place. And I never finished. And okay, so it's not in different place, okay? Because that's what, what you're saying there is, is uh, what you're saying there is in, in, in diferencia lugares. That's what in you're saying. In different place? No, in different places, okay? Ah, uh, I, I started in different places. I Place. never finished. For me, it's difficult. 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 Yes. And you, Rafael? Well, I, I started I studied English um, in September 2021, <laughs> about two months ago. <laughs> it's really? your first time. Yes, it's my first time in in uh, in, uh, in a school. Uh huh. Now we're doing here, guys. Uh, nothing. Answering the the questions. We're doing cool. <laughs> All right, let me hear you. Is it is it cold where you're at? Is it chilly? What? No, it's. In a way, let's say it's cool, but okay. uh, during the night, it tends to get warm. Yes, yes, it does sometimes, right? Uh, that's great. So, all right, let's 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 talk, guys, okay? It's the last day, guys. Just just enjoy. We're, we have a couple of minutes on it. Okay, cool. David, so tell me, when did you start learning English? Um, I start, I started to, to learn in English uh, since... Uh, 2017, maybe. 2000, 2017. Uh huh. 2017. No, 2017. 2017. Yes. Okay. All right, that's cool. Where did you start learning English? I began to study English in. Different if the question says the if I started, but in this case is the when. Yes. Okay. Oh, for how long? Maybe that that case. Okay. How are you doing, guys? Everything good? Yes. A little bit confused. I don't know. Um, how can I answer? The, the first question during what is the specific time that I uh, should put or should answer? The first question is When did you study in when high did school? you study in high school, right? Mm -hmm. So you can say go ahead, what 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 will be your answer? I started during but um the specific time it can be my <laughs> 15. All right now here remember guys high school mm -hmm. high school cannot be a specific date and the reason why is because you do you study in high school for one day or for an amount of time mm -hmm. right so the it's for so if I say, but this question is, when did you study in high school, right? I studied in high school. You can say I studied high, uh, I went to high school. You can say I went to high school, right? I went to high school in 1990. I went to high school in, okay? Or I went to high school during, dur during the twenties, all right? So you can give, you can say during, if you're gonna refer to the decade because you don't remember, you know, the amount of, uh, I mean, the exact years, right? But you can also say in, okay? I went to high school, I studied in high school in 2020, right? Or during the 2010s, right? With the Backstreet Boys. I don't know, whatever, right? <laughs> right? Okay. But if you, uh, 
I want to say in 2000. You can say in 2000, yes. I went to high school in 2000, or I studied in high school in 2000. 2000. Right. That would be correct, too. Okay. okay. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay. We're going we're gonna to go back now, guys. Okay. So okay. We can say goodbye and cry now. <laughs> Right, so we're waiting for everybody else to come back, guys, because it takes like one minute for this thing to close up with all the regular sessions. So, anyways, guys, so all right, so let's give them a couple of seconds. They'll be back. All right, mainly Rafa, Alberto, David. I mean, okay, right, there we go. Guys, um, really, really good job, guys, okay? I hope that, I hope you guys learned something in this module, all right? I, I know, I, I've been with you before, guys, so I know that you guys are cool and everything, you know? I really like, I really like, you know, giving, classes guys sometimes you know like i'm too exhausted but it's good you know it's, it's fun right it's fun for me you know believe it or not guys um um it's fun for me but i really want you guys to you know to um take something away with you and that is knowledge okay i really hope guys that you left with something good out of this okay all right so um thank you guys thank you and uh Today is the last day, guys, all right? I have no idea when we're, if we're going to see each other again or when we're going to see each other again, right? Where? Why? I Why? hope we, 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 meet, we meet again, teacher, <laughs> and to the next module. <laughs> yes, module. yes, probably, you know, probably the next module. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if we're going to have a class, in, you know, in December. But the thing, guys, is that I need some time off, okay? I need some vacations, and I need to go... Okay out of the country you know i don't know guys maybe i'll go to europe or or, or colombia oh. or argentina or whatever right okay, but i need to take some time off you know to rest send some pictures teacher send some pictures <laughs> yes david yes 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 um, i miss you you feel bad can you repeat <laughs> yes no i'll miss you a lot guys and i mean you can always send me messages guys i mean i'm not gonna i'm not dead right i'm, I'm there all right uh i'm just saying you know Don drama <laughs> yeah televisa right no <laughs> uh but but thank you thank you uh david all right uh for for uh, joining almost every class right for two modules or three uh, consecutively now alberto nice meeting you too mailing thank you for being there rafael thank you for joining francisco santos you've been with me since 2018 <laughs> so uh <clears throat> Thank you for joining too. And Monica, nice, nice meeting you. And um, and I wish you well, guys. Merry Christmas and happy new year to you. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks, thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.